Before we wrap up integration by parts, I want to look at solving the same problems, but in a slightly different method. This is known often as the tabular method. It's also known as the tic-tac-toe method. And there are several other names for it as well. But the idea is, if we set up a tic-tac-toe board, in the first column, we're going to put our labels. In the middle column, though, we're going to take derivatives. And in the last column, we're going to take integrals. And we're going to add and then subtract across. Under the derivative column, we'll list our u. Its derivative then would be du. And under the integral column is where we'll put our dv, whose antiderivative is v. This then allows us to say u times v minus the integral of v du gives us the solution. And it doesn't have the extra crowding of the u's and the v's and the dv's and the du's. So some people really like this setup better. Let me explain what this looks like by going back to the same examples that we just solved in the previous videos. So the first example that we did up above is x to the fifth the antiderivative of x to the fifth, natural log of x dx. And setting up this tic-tac-toe grid, we've got derivatives and integrals. Who goes in the derivative column? Again, that's that lay idea. Logs, then algebra, then exponents. For the logs coming first, go in the derivative. Then the rest goes in the integral column. Taking the derivative of log then, we get 1 over x. The antiderivative of x to the fifth is x to the sixth times 1 sixth. The way we evaluate then is we take the diagonal minus the integral of the last row. In other words, we have 1 sixth x to the sixth natural log of x, that's that diagonal, minus the integral of the last row, which is 1 sixth. And x to the sixth divided by x gives me x to the fifth. And of course, we need our dx. This integral we can solve really quick. We've got 1 6th x to the 6th natural log of x minus, we raise the exponent by 1 to get x to the 6th. Divide by the new exponent. So we have another 6 down here. 6 times 6 is 36. And of course, we'll add our constant, and we end up with our solution. So essentially, the tabular method is doing the exact same thing we did before, but it gets rid of a lot of the extra clutter from the u's and the v's and the dx's and the du's and the dv's all cluttering things up, which is why some students like this layout better when solving. The second example that we solved was the integral of 3x times e to the 4x dx. Again, we'll set up a derivative column and an integral column. For the derivatives, we put the algebra first before the exponential. So the exponential e to the 4x goes in the integral column. Taking the derivative, we get 3. Taking the antiderivative, we get e to the 4x times 1 fourth. And then again, we'll multiply the diagonal and subtract the integral of the last row. 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths times x e to the 4x minus the integral of 3 fourths e to the 4x dx, which we can integrate to get our final answer of 3 fourths x e to the 4x minus the antiderivative of e to the 4x is e to the 4x. And then we'll divide by another 4, which gives us 16 underneath the 3 plus that constant. And that becomes our final solution. So there's two ways to set up this integration by parts formula. One is using the formula u times v minus the integral of v du. Other is to kind of set up this tic-tac-toe shape. Either method works great. It doesn't matter which method you use as you solve these integration by parts problems. Now it is your turn to go and practice some of these and see which method you like better.